Mama, let's read the Bible, Second Kings, chapter 5, 15 to 17. Then Naaman returned to the men of God, he and all the people in his group, and stood before him. He said, Behold, I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. So now accept a blessing and a gift from your servant. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives before whom I stand, I will accept nothing. He urged him to take it, but Elisha refused. Naaman said, if not, then please let your servant be given a load of earth from a team of mules. For from this day on, your servant will no longer offer a burnt offering, nor a sacrifice to other gods, but only to the Lord, the God of Israel. In this matter, may the Lord pardon your servant, when my master the king goes into the house of his god, Ramon, to worship there, and he leans on my hand, and I bow in the house of Ramon. When I bow down in the house of Ramon, may the Lord pardon your servant in this matter of attending the king when he worship. Elisa said to him, Go in peace. So Naaman departed and was a good distance away from him. When Gehaz, the servant of Elisha, this man of God, said, My master has spared this Naaman, the Aramean, meaning Cyrenian, by not accepting from him what he brought. As the Lord lives, I will run after him and get something from him. So Gehaz pursued Naaman, when Naaman saw, saw someone running after him, he got down from the chariot to meet him and said, Is all well? And he said, All is well. My master has sent me to say, Just now two young men of the sons of the prophets have come to me from the hill country of Ephraim. Please give them a talent of silver, and two changes of clothes. Naaman said, please take two talents. And he urged him to accept and tied up two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of clothes and gave them to two of his servants and they carried them in front of Gears. When he came to the hill, he took them from their hand and put them in the house for safekeeping. And he sent the men away, and they left. Then he went in and stood before them, his master. Elisha asked him, Where have you been, Gaius? He said, Your servant went nowhere. Elisha said to him, Did my heart not go with you when the men turned from his chariots to meet you? Is it a proper time to accept money and clothes and olive orchards and vineyards and sheep and oxen and male and female servants. Therefore, the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and to your descendants forever. So Gaius departed from his presence, a leper as white as snow. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today, I, want to, I wanted us to read this, but uh, we need to understand the, the power of working together. You can just write working together. The power of working together. God what us God wants us to be a church where there will be togetherness unity 
And the mighty works will be visible. We can see that by the church in Acts chapter 2. Where the Bible says people were united. And there was mighty power. You know, where there's unity. Where people do one thing. You cannot stop them. I was I was looking at some of the churches that don't preach Jesus. Neki lelela dikereke chedi ngumora rera urerwa ngona Jesus. Ana mogai. But those churches are formidable. Mara dikereke chedi wena di emi bona laukar di emi. They don't even talk about Jesus. Adi bule leka hamore na Jesus. Because they agree in one. Ka uba ne ba eleba du me la uye matulonge ti ba ba putulonge ti. O ka si di robe kereke chedi. Until Jesus come back. O fete la Jesus ato buya. And even if you say Jesus can do this, they will tell you. Lega o ka talo sara Jesus wa kona o dia seba ta o buchora auwa. Working together is so powerful. But you know, it, it develops us to be one thing. We can see Gehaz. Who was working all the time with the prophet. You know, there's another version. When I was reading, it didn't say the heart. It says. My spirit went with me. In other words, when Gaz was walking, the, man God, Asipila, the spirit in the prophet started to be one spirit with him. We share a spirit when we walk together. Can you tell me we share a spirit? When we walk together. You know, I was having a concern that already the spirit of Elisha, the heart of Elisha, was already in Gehaz. But look, why Gehaz Will not die. The reasons why gas could not die. Because he was looking around. He was not looking at the prophet. He was looking around. The leg that they were having. Whereas the leg was there to discipline him. In, when, in the people when they are working together, another one, God is using another one to teach another one. I don't know if you are hearing it. So you can see God was using the prophet to bring another prophet to bring another prophet to bring another prophet the first prophet was Elijah. He was staying in the mountain. There was no house there. There was nothing there. But Elisha, Elisha was found himself in the houses. But he began to train the one who's following. That it is not so issues of houses. It is him. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because Elisha knew from Elijah that Elijah could not be controlled by anything. But when you look at the servant, already the spirit of the, the, the prophet was there. But when he looked, he realized that there was a lack of understanding. The spirit of Prophet was there. The heart of a prophet was there. But the man was, was left out. Look what he said. He said, uh, okay, maybe we can read verse 26. Verse 26. Elisha said to him, Did my heart not go with you when the man turned from his chariot to meet you? Is it a proper time to accept money 
and clothing and olive orchards and vineyards and sheep and oxen and male and female servants. Uh, this week. Beke. On Sunday. Kasonta. Uh, one of my son was offered money. I've already told him that. That I'm preserving you. For the future. I know there are some money that blocks another man. And then he, he looked at the money and said, No. He doesn't want to disappoint this one. But he will take it to come and show me. And then I ask him, Do you want this man? He said, No. He said, This money will give it to the one who doesn't have money. I said, I will give. You don't need money now. Because you know, uh, Satan works in another way. Satan He makes you to see that you want something that you don't want. Whereas there is something you want that will bring all. I've got many people that their focus is money. And they are missing the, one, the thing that can create everything they need. The man was losing his mission. The man was losing his assignment. His focus was how much. This man was supposed to be very rich. He's living everything. I'm going to go on the other side and get it. I want to personally tell you that money cannot take you anywhere. Money cannot take you anywhere. Because even if you can get 10 million, you need 30 million. Money will never satisfy you. What you need is what God wants to give you. He wants to give you a heart, a spirit. So you must check your own spirit. Deal with yourself by the people you work with. If you know that God wants to give you a spirit, you won't connect with yourself with everyone. There, there are some people you disconnect yourself with. So that you must not defile the spirit. Your spirit is about to accept another spirit. I don't know if you are hearing so Your connection is. You must check people you are working with. Tell them check people you are working with. Tell them check people you are working with. If you are hearing me say amen. I found that. Uh, you know, because I spend time uh, indoors. Kaore kifecha na kwe inchikiri kara kai. When we start to build here, is when I told Mama I want to come here. I want to do something here. I used to hire people to come and work with me here. You know, I, I just found that it was very difficult for me to work with Christians. Because sometimes Christians they don't know that when they are working, they are saving God. So I, I found it was a lesson for me. I began to hire people. I hire people. And take the numbers of them. You know, when I was working with them, sometimes I would forget because I'm old now. You know, you know old, old. So I'll forget. Uh, uh, this one who needs his money. That one. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll get calls. Hey, I need my money. Hey, I say, who are you? I begin to realize that I'm connected with the people 
That money is so important to them. Ka thomo le mo re ke na le kgwarana le batho ba tshelete mo go bona ke ntwe ya botlhokwa. That they can really beat you up. O vita se mo sa re le o betha ba ka o betha. I don't know if you hear me. A ke tseba le ntwa. You know in this world I have learned a lot about the within a short time. Le fasing le ke ithutse le ntwe tshe ding ngata ka nako nyana o inyane. No you took my 20 rand. Le tshere tshe ntwe ba ntwa ya ka. A wa ka shota 30 rand ntwa. Was money, I was shocked. Because normally, I've not, I've not been involved with money. And I realized that if I want to remain clean, I must make sure that I remain faithful. I I not, if not, I'll be defined. I don't know if you're hearing me. So check. People around you. Check people you are walking around. Let me show you from another scripture. In First Corinthians. 6. Let's read First Corinthians six. From verse Corinthians six. Verse twelve. From verse twelve. From verse twelve. Everything is permissible for me, but not all things are beneficial. Did you hear that? Amen. Everything. Is permissible for me. But not all things are beneficial. Let's read. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be enslaved by anything and brought under its power, allowing it to control me. Did you hear this man? I won't allow things. To control me. Read that verse again. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be enslaved by anything and brought under its power, allowing it to control me. Let's stop there. Now we understand that everything it have got its own power. Now we wish to show it to make you a slave. Or to dominate. Or to dominate. Well, you know, you can be controlled by your makeup. Or to make your makeup. Everything you have got its own power. You can be controlled by your trousers. You can be controlled by your trousers. You can be controlled by your skirt. I'm telling you now. Skirt is on a sole sea pairing. Everything. That goes along with you. It can enslave 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 you. It can Food does not need your head. Food does not need your feet. Food does not need your feet. Food they go hand in hand. They walk. With your stomach. Carry on reading. Verse fourteen. 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 The body is not intended for sexual immorality. Now we can hear that food, as long as they are going hand with stomach, because they are dominating each other, God will destroy both of them. You see, if you want to dominate, the one you are working with, so that you must not be destroyed with it. Check the weakness and the strength of that thing. Check the strength and the weakness of that thing. Check the strength 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 of that thing. Enjoying each other. They must know one day God will destroy all. You know, you, you, you must really check. Uh, we'll be okay. Read it again. One time, I, I told people that. If I'm a false prophet. And I deceive you. Automatically, I'm going to, to hell. Even you are deceived. 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 Even you are deceived
Don't ever think God will spare you. No, you are food. And the false prophet is the stomach. You go together, God will destroy you. You are the same. You will be destroyed. Because remember, whatever you are doing, you are doing under a false spirit. So you are, you, are, you are getting a false spirit. That is controlling you. And it changes the force. And it changes the force. You must check people you are working with. Check people you are working with. The body is not intended for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body to save, sanctify, and raise it again because of the sancti sacrifice of the cross. Now you are learning now. Your body is for the sanctification. It's not for sexual immorality. Sexual immorality is not only sleeping. It's friendships that are not take you to God. Sexual immorality because you are becoming one. Someone you're not supposed to be one. Your discerning is being questioned. If you're a child of God, you are just having friends. Your your is being questioned. Questioned. You know, before God, it would be easy for you. Easy for you to be judged. Because you are ruled by a spirit. I don't know if you hear me. You, one man, Mama, I've got many things to share here, but I just want to try to be normal. One man, you know, he was sitting in the temple. He was sitting in the temple. One man, you know, he went to hell. When he stood at the gate, he, you know, there was a beautiful gate. Because Satan always tried to imitate. There were, there were normal demons like people. Normal. Remember, demons are, are angels that flow, fall from heaven. So there were some handsome men there. Were some and they were waiting for some people to be called. And he says we were online. But our lives are lining and we have reached heaven. We are not the same. We see that uh, this gate is not the one. You are, you are in the gate where you don't know whether this gate is taking you to hell. So he said, when we still stand in the world, people were thanking God. They thank you, God. We've arrived to a place. We've arrived to a place. And they were handsome tall. Excited to enter. There. Because of lack of dissent. He said his time came. He says, when the gate opened for him, he was pushed by a force. A push. Inside. And when he stood there, he began to see things like reds. He got teeth like of lions. And he began to eat your feet. He says, he screams, hey, Jesus! And Jesus came there. He said, can you see how many people? Many people, they think they are going. We lack discernment. Your, your, your body is not for sin. Your body is for friendship with him. Because whatever you do, which is out to you, you come into contact and, and oneness with you the person. You can read my mouth. You can read my mouth. 
14. And God has not only raised the Lord to life, but will also raise us up by his power. Carry on. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Am I therefore to take the members of Christ and make them part of a prostitute? Certainly not. Do you not know that the one who joins himself to a prostitute is one body with hair? For he says the two shall be one flesh. But the one who is united and joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Did you hear that? Amen. The one who will join to the Lord. Yeah, at join na ngle morena. When you say I'm saved now. How are you going to pull us together? One spirit with him. Oba moyo moti liye na moren. I was asking myself that. Neki put chakere. Why are we failing to do what the Lord has done? Why repel lo kau di adi loche morena moti madi di le. Do you know what the Lord said one day? Le at sebor morena we change chachile lingwa. He said, I'm going to the Father. Because I'm going to the Father, you will do more than what I do. Jesus was saying, because the Spirit of God is going to come. He said, oh, you will do what I've done. But because I'm going to the Father, you will do more than what I've done. I was checking to us. I was checking all of us. We have not reached there. We have not reached what Christ was doing. Are so fit to mind in touch with Christ and not did it. It's as if we are still ruled by the law. O kare sabu swaki malau. Because I'm going to the Father. Kale ba kala ore naki a hotate. You will do more than what I have done. Le na le tadi ache nche u fiti shache naki di dealing. Do you think we are doing more than what he did? It shows that, that somewhere, somehow, we are contaminated. Our container is filled with wrong things. Container ya re ya re na ite chika di loche di singchon. We are contaminated. Re te chidi chila. We are failing to cut some people. Re palwa ori pa ba ba ngwa watu ba recipe langle bon. Jesus say here. You become one with him. Cut friendship of the people you are working with. If truly they make you to ha. not to walk according to God's plan. God's what is it that you are speaking with? King is a receiver lang lebatuba. What is it that you are speaking with them? King is a receiver lang lebon. What is it that you speak most? King is a receiver lang hanchi. How will you know a person until the person speaks? Oto tiba jo mutu a mutu a sabulel. If you want to know the person, just keep quiet. Aho yoko tiba mutu humula fela. You know, you, you people who get married now. Le naba le nyali ngana jole. You don't know each other, is it? Le naba unyala na jole ali tiba. So. Sometimes you need to keep quiet. And listen to this one you marry or get married. To, to know the person. Because you don't know the people. After you marry the person, after three months, you just have to After three months, I want to go home. I want to see my mom. I want to go home. I want to see my mom. Ah, you question. Uh, you know, Why put you here? Can't you marry me? I feel I've married you. I want to go home. From there we feel we are not. Uto anamo that person is ugly. Na no tears are going down. What's wrong? I want to go home. Three months fell. Three months only. I do want to go home. You have problems. There are some people. We never had to. That you are, you are working with them without knowing them. Bare sepilang lo wana resaba tibi. From today, I want you to put a test to everyone. Le kono angeng ritole le kule mutu kamu. I want to put a test to everyone. Kenya kol tida dia mule kule kula mutu. Kenya kore mutu mo antu shake le kule mutu kamu. Can we just read the book of Amos three? Ari yangu kenya Amos three. Amos three verse three to seven. Do two men walk together unless they have made an appointment? 
Does a lion roar in the forest when he has not prey? He has no prey. Does a young lion growl from his den if he has not captured something? Does a bird fall into a trap, into a trap on the ground when there is no bait in it? Does a trap spring up from the ground when it has caught nothing at all? Of course not. So it is that Israel has earned her impending judgment. If a trumpet is blown in a city, warning of danger, will not the people tremble? If a disaster or misfortune occurs in a city, has not the Lord caused it? Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret plan of the judgment to come to the servants, the prophets. We normally quote that scripture without understanding. Let's go, look at verse 3. Read that verse 3. Yes. It says, do two men walk together unless they have made an appointment? You know, here Amos was saying, Amos Me, I've been sent by God to come and prophesy. Do you know that uh, there was a man called Amaziah? This man was saying, Amos must not prophesy. So, Amos was speaking about this. He said, How can a lion roar when he didn't see anything? Uh, it's happening. A lions are roaring now without seeing anything. I, I was seeing one man who was prophesying. And then he roared. Wanabopa. But what you were saying was not there. Uh, I just said, okay, let's watch this man. He prayed preached very well. He preached, he was preaching good. He was standing. And he was doing like this. He turned around like this. He was wearing a very nice suit. Oh, he began to roar. And then he roared. He roared. And whereas he didn't see anything. I began to hear him. He said, So I, I, I was looking. I hear he not saying anything. Now, he pointed at someone he wanted to was. He wanted to prophesy that person. There was nothing. The lions of now roar. They didn't see anything. Now, now he's saying, I'm going to prophesy that person. Now, I'm going to prophesy that person. I'm going to prophesy that person. You know, there are some people who are blown to traffic. You know, there are some people who are blown to traffic. You know, there are some people who are blown to traffic. You know, there are some people who are blown to traffic. You know, there are some people who are blown to traffic. You know, there are some there's no army that is approaching. This man say, Amos said, you know what? Me, I walk with God, we agree. We agree with God. When God is saying something, we believe it. When God reveals, I talk. Read verse 7. Read verse 7. Verse 7. Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret plan of the judgment to come to his servants, the prophets. Did you hear that? He will say, I walk with God. So because I walk with God, he can walk with God. Do you know what happens to Abraham? It's only when Abraham Walk with the visitors. Who came to his house. When he walked with them. When he walked with them. 
When he was with them, they say, do you know? We need to reveal this this man. He was working with us, he must reveal it. Sometimes you must check. When your darkness is quiet, check you are working with God. If truly is not tempered with. You know, they say, let's reveal because this man is going to be big. It's not big, this man. He is working with us. He can sense us. Do you know what I mean? I was questioning what Abraham, how did he realize these are from God. Master, so can you come to my house? Come to my house. Here. Come to my house. Here. Hey, let's kill the fetid calf. 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 Let's Shallow their spirits. We have got wrong spirits. We have got them from somewhere. Uh, you know, by the time when I was growing, I saw something in our village which we cannot practice it in. And also, it happened to your by the time of Christmas, we go from this house eating. But what have you learned now? Not only to telling much at I mean, you don't even know whether your neighbor is hungry. Our civil room, my cues were a kid, and God has never said anything about you. And then what you might have a silo, come on. I was telling someone that if I give you money. Maybe you are part of me. I will know. I will know what is right to you. We need to reach a level of understanding people we are working with. Work with God, you will know it. He will reveal his secrets to you. I pray that God will reveal his secrets to you. You work with him. Listen, don't cry to get a revelation now. Don't cry to prophesy now. Don't cry to deliver people now. Work with God. Work with God. He will reveal his secrets. There are some things that God will never tell you until you work with him. I don't know if you hear me. God can remain quiet and you will be able to work with him. God can remain quiet in order you work with him. In order for you to recognize that you need to seek him more. To him. And there are some things that you need to stop. If you are working with God, you stop this friend. You stop what you are doing. You stop what you are thinking. Whatever, whatever. And God will start to talk. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, I, I went to one conference. I was still very young by then. And we were, we were two. And we were and friend, Thomas. We were friend, Thomas. My friend, Thomas was always reading the Bible. So, me, I was not able to read it. I was not able to read it. And when I go to him, he will give me, you know this New Testament Bible? Which is like blue. Yes. He will, he will, I will find him with a big Bible. I loved him. But I didn't want to read the Bible. I wanted us to talk. And then himself, he doesn't talk too much. The moment when I reach him, he gave me that Bible that looks like an ID book. 
I took that Bible. I act like I'm reading. I look at it. I know the because I loved him. So sometimes I will check the the Bible says this. I will just bring another question that goes to the West. To show that I'm not even a You will just look at me as, as, as a soldier. How far are you reading? I'm busy. But what I was saying shows that I'm not even a soldier. You know, one time I started to have problems. That problem was the one that destroyed our home. I, I have nowhere to go now. Everybody rejected me. I get to remember Bible. And I start to study that Bible. Oh. So we, we went to the conference. I remember my friend, we went to that conference. Now. So I had a, a friend that I took him there. Also him and a friend, so we four. So I'll be reading the Bible. So I'll be reading the Bible. So I'll be reading the Bible. I'm reading the Bible like him. And then I enjoy the Bible. Bible. So I'll be reading the Bible. This is what I have to leave. This one night when we are coming from conference, we are sleeping in one place. Me and my friend, we there was a mattress down. And the three quarter bed, we were sleeping on top. Him and his friend. And the friend was sleeping on the other side. So my friend was sleeping on the other side. Me, I was down by my friend was sleeping on the other side. You know, I don't know what happened that night. I can say what the I was I stretch my hand. I just wake up and hold that brother. Stop dreaming what you are dreaming. You know that brother. We are sleeping. We are four. But even in my sleep, I could hear. I hold that brother. Stop dreaming what you are dreaming. That brother wake up. All of us we wake up. Even me I was surprised. He says, ah, I was dreaming, dreaming, sleeping with a girl. We were all shocked. Ah, my friend is looking at me. We are looking at each other. Me I said, ah, let me sleep. We sleep. My brother did not sleep. He said, no, this thing, it has been happening. And I'm dreaming it now again. Yeah, in the conference. So from the out of my mouth, my friend said, ah, you are dreaming what you are dreaming. I began to speak with this, my friend. What I was speaking is what he was dreaming. And he, he began to say, oh, thank you, God, I've been dreaming this now. I I wake up. Up. And when we are eating, I see a feeling. We are eating. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the scripture. I see a feeling. I began to realize that there are crazy people. And then, you know, they see something and you don't know they are seeing. This is the time that you become crazy. With your God. And God will reveal things to you. There are things. We're, we're four. My, the friend of my friend was still having a spirit that was following him. And that spirit was located. So this is the time that God must reveal everyone. To I pray that it must happen. To God bless you. Let's go to another scripture. I don't want to talk stories because hey, someone said, I didn't know Pastor talked too much like this. I really do speak. Let's read. 
Luke 24. Luke 24. Let's read from verse 28 to 33. Let's read 28. Yes, we are there. Then they approached the village, they approached the village. where they were going, huh? and he acted as if he was going further. But they urged him not to go on, saying, Stay with us because it is almost evening. And the day has just about ended. So he went inside to stay with them. And it happened that as he reclined at the table with them, he took the bread and blessed it, and break it, and breaking it, he began giving it to them. Then their eyes were suddenly opened by God, and they clearly recognized him. And he vanished from their sight. Carry on reading, Mama. They said to one another, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking with us on the road and opening the scripture to us? They got up that very hour and went back to Jerusalem. Stop there. Stop there, Mama. Listen to this. This is my experience, but I want you to learn it. They said, were there not our hearts burning? In fact, when Jesus acted like he was going away from them, the Bible said he acted, he was not going. He was checking their dicing. He walked with them. The hearts were burning. The hearts were burning. They were feeling it. Right? But they could not reach a level of understanding. This is true. Jesus acted like he is going. Jesus I want to tell you this. When you are with a person of the spirit, your heart, you will feel something in your heart. I don't know if you're hearing me. The heart of Jesus is fire. You must feel something. If you have people, you don't feel anything. You don't feel anything. You are discussing about how to make money. Leave this people. Because the Bible says, seek the kingdom. Do, do you know that, listen, do you know that God always wants anybody to start from zero? If you start from somewhere, if God wants to lift you up, he will also take you back to zero. If you are with people that are always talking about how to how make money, how to make money, I'm telling you, they, they are pouring cold money into the heart of people. Yes, they are pouring cold ice cubes into the heart of people. They are pouring something in your heart. You start to share. Don't have this. How can I get this? 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 Hey, my money. Hey, this and that. You must know that they are a lot of rest. Because they are pouring something in your heart. I don't know if you hear me. You need the presence of God. Otherwise, when God visits, God dissent him. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't forget the day I, I met Prophet T.B. Joshua. I don't forget. When I was studying with him, I could hear in my heart something burning nicely. I was hearing. But there are some people when you are studying with them, Thinking, who's that lady? Who, who's that brother? Oh, but you and Nakima. 
people they give me the anointing. From there, you stand with other people. You start to see your problems. You are with them. You start to see your problems. I say, I don't know how I do that. I try this one. You know your heart can die sin. The Bible says, walk with the wise, you will be wise. But it's not a proverb, it's the Bible. It says. If you walk with wrong people, you are about to develop wrong characters. Every Christian, before he sleeps, or she sleeps, there's issue of Rewinding. Of showing you what happened. If you don't rewind, and deal with it, rewind it, you won't be able to pray. When the rewinding comes, allow it. Don't pray. Check yourself. Approach some things when which are not in you, and is then you pray. If not, when you are busy praying, those things will come out of your prayer. I don't know if you are hearing me. Because when you pray, you are working with God. I want you to walk with God. And check people you are working with. Walk with God. Listen. The Bible says, God, uh, Noah walk with God. Enoch walk with God. Enoch or sipi chili mudi. These people walk with God. Look what happened to them. But never sipi mudi. We bona gudi aichi mo. Noah walk with God. Ano aya sipi la mudi mo. Look with the rain came. Pula yata. He was the only one who was sipi. Nelia na oiti yala ngapuluswa. When Enoch walk with God. I Enoch as sipi la mudi mo. God could not wait. Mudi mo asili ite. He said, no, let me take him out. They search for his grave. He won't find it. Moses worked with God. What happened? Look at the miracles that the Lord even helped them to play. You know, uh, I'm just uh, thinking that when we are preaching this, we need uh, Christians who work with God. Who can say? Eh, our president. Mo president we waruna. If you don't uh, allow everybody here in this South Africa to be a president, Ali Christian. Ali sadu mele mo tuka ofela mo South Africa ye abe mo poluswa. Your house will fall on the right side. Nto yale na itano wale takuring la uja fela. The house that is where we will fall. Nto yale na yele kai kai ito wakali takurile. Keep quiet. Wai kumle. The house of boop, boop, boop. And it comes from the news. Yeah, you say it was said by by whom, who, who's working with God. Today our prophecy. Let me say 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 our prophecy. Let me failing to sleep and beg pain because of your bed. This is the time now that when we walk with God, our people around us, they will fear God. I will show you a scripture that is really troubling. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Five. 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 Let's read from verse eight. Five, verse eight. Yes. <clears throat> amplified. Read amplified. Let your way in life be far from a and your years to the cruel one. And strangers will be filled with your strength. And your hard and wealth will go to the house of a foreigner who goes not, who does not know God. And you will groan when your life is ending, when your flesh and your body are consumed. Stop there. This scripture has really touched my heart. 
strangers better than us you'll be surprised if Morena is hiring you because of you know you are not disabled do you hear what the Bible says read it again Uh and you will groan when your life is ending Verse 8. Okay. Let your way in life be far from here. Let your ways be far away. Okay. And do not go near the door of her house. Don't even come closer to the house of that person. Avoid even being near the place of temptation. Avoid where you will be tempted. Oh, you will give your honor to others. Your honor. When you do that, you will give it to someone else. And your years to the cruel one. The criminal will succeed and live longer than you. And strangers will be filled with your strength. You, you are strong. You will be weak. Foreigners will be so much strong strong but yourself you are weak and your hard end wealth will go to the house of a foreigner the salary you work for will just go straight to the foreigner <laughs> and you will groan when your life is ending you will be just <laughs> it will be your tongues of praising satan because you'll be crying every day Asking God why, whereas you are the one who have done it. Mm. You are walking without checking. You are not working with God. You are going to a place where you will be tempted. You know there when you reach there, this will happen. And you are going there with your two feet. And now, the Bible says, don't even come close to the door. There are some people you don't need to visit from today. That's the reasons why your, your, your salary you do what you have done with it. Now you know from the scriptures. You know, I was looking at us here South Africans. The way we are living. Here in South Africa, we are so much poor. I was speaking with someone from outside. He told me that South Africans, they are lazy. No, it's not laziness. We have connected ourselves with wrong people. Today, we can disconnect ourselves. 